Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Credit Matters TV. I am Arturo Sanchez at Financial Institutions Ratings. Standard & Poor's recently published The Top Colombian Banks, a coverage book about the Colombian banking system. This publication includes, among other research pieces, our Banking Industry Country Risk Assessment, or BICRA, for Colombia, our latest rationale on Colombia, several commentaries highlighting our expectations for the Colombian banking system and the challenges it could face ahead. Also, this publication includes the rationales of the banks rated by Standard & Poor's that are part of the top 15 Colombian banks, and we also prepared profiles of the non-rated banks specifically for this publication. To talk about the highlights of the book, we have Alfredo Calvo, Director at Financial Institutions Ratings in Latin America. So Alfredo, first, what are the main highlights that are covered in this book? Well, as you mentioned, this book includes several articles where we discuss the banking system's performance and growth prospects for 2015, also, the geographic expansion strategy that large Colombian banks have been developing during the past years, in particular in Central America, and uh, the impact that organic and inorganic credit growth has had in the banking system's capitalization levels, among other topics. Can you give us some color on your findings? How much do we expect total loans would grow in 2015 and which are the sectors which could propel this growth? Well, we expect total loans will increase around 14 to 15% in 2015. In our view, private, private sector loans will remain as the most important component of banks' loan portfolios and will be the main engine for growth. In particular, infrastructure projects could be a key source of growth in the coming years. On the other hand, the pace of growth of consumer loans has been slowing and we expect this trend to continue while mortgages could keep growing at stronger rates. However, the participation of mortgages within total loans will remain relatively small. Do you expect asset quality metrics to be affected considering the banking system's credit expansion? We believe that Colombian banking industry's asset quality metrics will remain adequate. This because we expect banks will maintain their adequate underwriting standards and because the country's good economic prospects will release pressure on debtors' payment capacity. In fact, we expect Colombia's GDP will grow 4% in 2015, which is above the 2.6% expected for Latin America on a weighted average basis. Which do you think is the main weakness of the Colombian banking system? Well, capitalization continues to limit our assessments of the standalone credit profiles of the Colombian banks we rate. The Colombian banking sector's capital levels remain moderate to weak per our risk-adjusted capitalization measure. We don't expect significant improvements for rated Colombian banks' risk-adjusted capitalization ratios over the next two years because large goodwill amounts in their balance sheets will likely continue to limit their capital levels. Thank you very much, Alfred, and thank you for joining us and see you in our next segment of Credit Matters TV.